Well, when he did it, um, he actually would put them together because he had a very narrow press. But with the technology today, um, it's very easy to print them online. <laughs> In, in one single piece. When he did them, he actually printed them and had to piece them together horizontally. Uh, but with the newer technology, we were able to do it in one piece. Yeah. And so you can see, here is, so it's, a, it's almost the same feeling, but at the Spectrum Gallery, this was a model that Norma did. Uh, and you would see this piece would be hanging loose and you'd actually walk sort of into the room. And so that was what she wanted to try and do, was recreate the feeling of that kind of space with the space we have here. Yeah. But his imagery is amazing. His imagery is amazing. And then when I went into that little room and I read what he was saying, I was like, wow. Look at what he made from, yeah. from a feeling. Right. I mean, he turned it into, um, mm -hmm. you know, you hear people commit suicide and they do this and they do that. With, and here he turned it into. Yeah. 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 Now, I don't know if you saw this, but she's got a camera feed over there. And so if you come over here, you see us being photographed. <laughs> well, that's a sculpture of John. Norma is her master But, but now she's all the way from course school. Yeah. <laughs> and you notice I haven't mentioned Disneyland, okay? So. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> When John did this show, it was wait until he slowed down. <laughs> he did his show with two friends from Spectrum Gallery, uh -huh. and one of them had one side of the gallery, and one of them had the other side, and John had the middle. Uh huh. And he did basically a gallery within a gallery. This is taken from a photograph of the front of the Spectrum Gallery itself. And he turned it into a line drawing, and then he colored it the way he wanted to see it, uh -huh. not the way it actually was, which was pretty drab, uh -huh. black and white, uh, very little color. And he put people looking in the window. Then he did take some pictures of the lobby. One whole panel here is a montage of pictures that he took along um, along the um, think it, along the tower district. So this is actually the the activity that he captured in his photographs on the tower. Uh -huh. Then. He actually used a photograph of the rear of the building as the rear of the, of the gallery. Uh -huh. And for one of the other outside walls, he took houses along Olive Avenue and turned them into dollhouses and populated them with little children. And that's up here, huh? No, this is all that, in that's a, but that's Yeah, well, that's the large one is up there on the wall. And the children were pictures that he had taken back in the 60s and 70s as uh -huh. our kids were growing up. These were some of the children that he was that they were in nursery school with. Some of them were just kids that he could see on the street and he'd think that they were worth photographing and stopping. Uh -huh. 
things and luckily that was back in the days before you needed releases to do everything. And this is a part of the installment too. This is one of the interior walls. All of the animal oh, pictures, like, with the exception of the cat and the rooster, were pictures on animals that he took at the L.A. Zoo and were incorporated in a, a show that he had at the um, L.A. Museum of Science and Industry in the 60s, about 1965. Again, the black and white pe pictures of people were pretty much the same era. Uh -huh. and, uh, he made his own idea of a gallery where not only the people are looking at pictures, but the pictures are looking at the children. That's pretty cool. Thanks.